Hi there and thanks for watching. In this video we'll cover creating a new account and mapping and importing your data from an Excel or CSV file. From the Treasury Software Welcome screen, select either ACH Universal or Canadian EFT and our sample account will open. Our sample account is configured for testing with our tutorial. We'll start by creating your account. To create your own account, select File, New Account. Create is the default option. We'll name the account Checking. When finished, you'll be switched to your new account. In this example, I've run a list of transactions from my accounting package and saved it to Excel. Your file should have these four columns, Amount, Name, Account Number, and ABA Routing Number. If your file doesn't have all of these fields, don't worry. With ACH Universal's profiles, you can store banking information for your customers, employees, and vendors. Let's close the file and import it. Select Import Transactions on the home page to start the Import Wizard. Browse for your file using Select File. You can also copy and paste using the Paste button. Next takes us to the Mapping screen. I've imported data before, so my mapping selections have been saved. I've mapped amount, name, bank account number, routing number, and the checking or savings field. To map a field, first select the column, then use the drop-down menu to select the matching field name. Field names appear in the green header row when a column is mapped. Columns not mapped are shown in red and are not imported. To map the ID number, I select the column, then use the drop-down menu to map or select the corresponding field titled ID number. ID number now appears in the header row and this column will be included in my ACH file. Remember, the order of the columns in the file does not matter. What's important is to map the correct column to the corresponding field name. In this example, amount is mapped to the column with the dollar amounts to be paid. The sign of each amount determines whether the transaction is a debit or credit. Positive amounts are debits and are used to collect money, typically from customers. Negative amounts are credits and are used to make payments, typically to vendors and employees. Your file can contain any combination of positive or negative amounts. If you want to flip the sign, simply map the column with the amount reverse sign. You can map additional fields too. Select Show All Fields to view all available fields. Next is the Review Record screen. Here you can confirm your total debits and credits, the net amount and record counts, and view imported records. You can also review invalid rows. Invalid rows are typically report or column headers or blank rows. Select Next and Finish. You can import additional files or manually add individual records. Add individual records using Add a Record or Multiple Records with their Quick Pay and Recurring Transactions feature. Congratulations! You've mapped and imported your transactions. Please watch the next video, ACH Universal, Creating Your File, which covers creating your transmission file and other common tasks. 